rolling. Hi, I'm Katie with the Home for Healing Arts and I'm going to make homemade deodorant. I'm mostly going to use coconut oil and I'm going to add um, either arrowroot powder or cornstarch. Um, and uh, then baking soda or diatomaceous earth and then um, a couple drops of essential oil and that's it and that lasts me like six to eight months because um, you just put a tiny just take like a little drop and rub it on your armpit so I'm gonna start with some um, pretty melted it's not all the way melted I don't like it to be all the way melted because um, it makes it harder for me to mix it together I'm just gonna put about can I put it in? Four to six. Can I? Yes, you can. Everything I'm putting in is food grade. Um, so I've got, you know, a little pile of coconut oil. You're going to put some in and then add some more later so you can get the right consistency. And as with most recipes, the um, amounts are just guidelines. Then I've got some food grade diatomaceous earth. I'm going to put a quarter cup this in there. You can also use zinc oxide. I am interested in using zinc oxide. I just have never done it. So I'm putting that in there. What is that? That's the diatomaceous earth. It comes from sea creatures. Huh? It comes from sea creatures. It comes from sea creatures. So for this recipe, I'm going to do a half cup of the arrowroot powder and then I'm going to do a quarter cup. A quarter cup of cornstarch. That is my daughter's I enjoy this fruit noise. So that's going to have a nice texture and consistency. And I'm just, I'm going to roll, I'm going to uh, mix it all up. So I'm going to need more coconut oil. It's a messy process, all these powders. So, I keep adding coconut oil. Hey, I try. You know, why don't you just enjoy your apple? So this is where having it a little more melted would be helpful. Um, and to melt your coconut oil, you'll want to do it um, over a heat source, not in the microwave. Um, yeah, I guess I should have had it a little more melted. Because this is turning into a little bit of a rocky texture, what I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to stick it over the stove um, when we're cooking our lunch, um, and that'll that'll melt it up, um, and then I can put it together. When it's when it's completely melted, I'm not crazy about it because that takes forever, and I end up actually having a little too much. Um, coconut oil so it's a it's a definitely a learning curve yeah. here so and then what I do you can use any um, essential oils that you really like I really like tea tree I like the properties of tea tree um, it is uh, a nice smell that doesn't uh, bother me it? or anyone in nice. my family it does smell nice so I just want to put a little bit in. You don't want to put too much of any essential oil because um, if it were to get directly on your skin, it can burn. You want to always make sure it's got a carrier oil. And coconut oil is a carrier oil. Um, I've just also noticed that when I get too much, I don't like it as much. So that is how you make homemade deodorant. Good luck. Okay, so this is the... Um, deodorant all mixed up I take about that much rub it on my armpit and then that um, keeps me smelling okay for the day um, also because of body chemistries um, different recipes work for different people um, so if something doesn't work for you you might need to experiment a little bit and you can see this is a lot this will definitely last me at least six months um, and probably longer. And then I put it on the stove because I it was a little too um, 
uh, hard to stir for me and I left it just a moment too long and so now it's it's very very melted but um, that means it's all gonna be mixed together and then when it hardens up it'll be nice so uh, try fail try again feel better okay and then here's after um, a day or so you can see it's now hardened uh, and it's pretty easy just to take my finger and pull a little bit off some people keep it in the fridge I find it actually gets too hard in the fridge it isn't easy for me to um, just scoop up like I just did um, and then rub easily in but if you find that it is um, too liquidy if you're in a warmer climate then you might want to keep yours in the fridge and there's the homemade deodorant